Yeah, normally I walk straight here, but this time weird shit happened first. Hi there, house. I'm a little baby. Look on my, I'm a little baby. Oh, he's in that neato. Now I'm much too- oh my god, the entire room's scale is determined by this part. So I need to try to adjust the scale of the whole thing. That I can enter the door, but be tall enough to, to mantle over this. So I've effectively chosen the scale of the entire area. Oh, they, they gave me a pretty narrow w window of like shorter than that, taller than that. So you end up basically being about the same height as a normal person anyway. But this is a fun idea. Are you okay, game? Um. Am I in a different room or the same room? What? Oh. So now I've got to shrink the whole place. No, I have to grow the place. I need to be shrunken. Is it that? Because that door is too small. So the front door portal became a different location, essentially. I got midway through the house, and then that became the new front door, apparently. A little confusing, but we got it. Um... Can I affect the general pitch of the music? And it's like... Volume and so on? By throwing this around? Can I make the game... Make the music really high-pitched? Yes, I can. That's funny. Alright, onward. Oh. Are we gonna get paratopic in this hallway? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. What if getting fear... What if fear or catharsis are their own brand of therapeutic? I think that's the one who's out. Yep. Yar, I'm a pirate. That's a familiar one. Oh, that's dangerous. I should go this way. Uh oh. Um. Hip. That's very dangerous. Uh oh. Are we gonna get all final destination y? Am I about to be threatened by various things? What a very large room to allow me to make things very large. Oh, you. I know I heard a fan. Oh my god. This seems dangerous. Hap hap. Hap hap. Can't blow this whole thing over? <gasps> I can! I was wondering what the fan was for. It seemed like it wasn't a great platform. But it can it can blow the whole Jenga tower over. 
giving me access. Neat. Weird little micro perspectives of this one hallway. God, are you okay, game? <laughs> so it's got some kind of portal system going on, like the one in Portal, where I, as far as I can tell, it's like creating various copies of things, and so the representation of what's behind, of what's through these thresholds that the game's using to do all its magic with, you have some uh, iffy, yeah, they can be very iffy estimations of what's happening over there. High-ass lockers. Uh. Uh. Okay, Manifold Garden, calm down. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. He's terrible at this. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't think about this, this thing that I'm explaining in great detail. Instead, think of this other thing that I'm not at all going to help you envision at all. Good luck, have fun. Am I now in the hallway? Yeah, there's the... Yeah. It's a trick. <clears throat> it's just there's a wall in this room and a wall in that room that look like these rooms, but yeah. Like there's the towel on the floor. The idea that this room and that... Those two things match up with each other. They're screwing with me. Working out great for me. If I could get out of this place, maybe I can climb into it better. Eh. What am I glitching into? Am I not supposed to climb out of this thing? Is that bad? Right, here we go. Ah. That time I'm supposed to climb out. And now I can worry about how to make the doorway big enough. Hip. There we go. Haha. <laughs> oh, whoa. I made a bitty again. Oh no. I'm like a rat in the duct. Hey there. Wait. That's the idea, isn't it? I can move where it is, and now when I come out of the portal, I'll end up somewhere else. Yes. That's fantastic. Hello. 
My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Well, it would seem that I continue to be some kind of overachiever. Uh-oh. This place doesn't seem very nice at all. That's probably good. Oh god, where is it falling? Let's find out. It's not great news for me. I appear to be fucked. Uh oh. Spaghettio. All right, let's see if I can do something with this then. Nope, I can't climb that. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, only I could run, I could jump out of the other portal. So I put it up there, was my goal, but then it fell off the ledge on the other side, and now it's laying down? Which makes it impossible for me to access. Uh oh. Uh oh. I appear to have broke the game. Whoopsie doodle. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. <clears throat> anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. There we go. Much better. So I accidentally threw it out the back door. Also, we just learned that you can't skip the uh, radios. That one just auto-played as I came by. Uh... No fall damage. Oh my god, I'm so small. It's going to take three years to get anywhere. Help me. Uh... Wow, I put you really high up, huh? <laughs> I still wasn't over the board. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm so slow. <laughs> Help. I'm... It, this is agony. I'm so small that it's agony. Oh, it looked like it was like over me and it still managed to fall all the way over on this side of the table. Perspective's a bitch. I would like to reach the edge of the table, please. Wow. It's, oh, there we go. This area is so massive, it actually functionally feels like it's a skybox. Like, this area, this whole area back here is not even moving, it feels like, compared to me. It's like, by comparison, it feels like, like an actual skybox. Like, please, please be close to me, doorway. Eh. Help, I can't handle this anymore. I've got to, I've got to make it better. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh. 
Oh. For a brief moment, we can re-experience what it's like to be normal. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol to the emergency protocol? Volumes of a cuboid, long volume, long... I'm gonna die. Here comes my death. Whoopsie doodle. Hey, happy little kitty. I'm going to die. I like the stage five is nap. My next nap's going to kill me. Hey, Dots, come back. Don't leave us. Hmm. No weird tricks this time. Oh, there's no area. We're just immediately in the shits. Emergency exit protocol initiated. What does that Please mean? Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, uh, 9, 8. Um. Error. Oh. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Uh oh. Murder boy is back. He's gonna get Error me. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. This is inconceivable, well, because in some Hypothesis. examples, this Patient didn't happen. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Maybe it's not a great idea to tell the patient Instruction. They're Continue in trouble. with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Huh? Could it be at the very act of telling the patient that they're falling into a spiral of not being able to escape this place might itself be what causes the spiral that makes it impossible to escape this place? And that the act of telling them that is itself a mistake. Uh oh. No, I can't leave now. Oh, you can only open the door after you close the alarm. I didn't know that. No, it's ringing even sooner now. Now I extra can't leave. Fuck. I was thinking maybe I just need to run away before it can get me. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm on this wall now. Okay, bye. Why is everyone like diet soda so bad? Diet soda's horrible. Just drink fucking water. Drink anything besides diet soda. Dude, you deserve better than diet soda. Like just commit to just commit to soda. Or drink anything else, it's fine. There are other things in the world. They're pretty good. <laughs> Alright. The bricks are becoming beginning to be a problem. Uh What do I do about that? I'm starting to get it bricked in. This is a problem. Oh. <sighs> the whole game's been setting up this one portrait, basically, as a solution all along. Yeah. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Well... I appear to have been abandoned by the system. 
That's bad. I'm in an endless coma brought on by this company. Rice and shipping box. Rice cakes and assorted candies. Christopher Floyd, 12345 Jupiter Lane. 201 La La Lane, Bungalow HWO. D. Valen. Oh, fuck. That became the down direction. Okay. Well, that's distressing. Hi. Okay. Cool, we're getting weird. I'm glad we're getting weird. Can't get off. Uh, oh, that was violent. Are you okay? Ah, oh, you made a door. That's neat. That's a neat trick. These are some great visuals. Looks like an eye. Oh, hey. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. How's that working for me so far, huh? Not so great, maybe? We haven't done this for a while. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. That was distressing. They give you a cube to try to line up and you fall like that when you try to do it. Oh! Okay. Wow, they're doing a, they're doing a really good job at that. Just continually surprising me when I think I know what's about to happen. Okay, we just need to clean this room up a little bit. Just calm down. Okay. Hello. <gasps> Elevator. Maybe I won't die this time. I'm doomed. No, it's very important that that works. Uh, oh, hi. West and east and... Eh. Okay. Cardboard only recycling. Okay, the sign on t oh, I thought it told the I thought I thought the sign on top told me where to go. Maybe it does. That was one, two. Two. One. What do I do? One. What do I do if I can't go the way the arrow's pointing? Because when I followed the arrows, it went one, two, three. This seemed to be progress, but now I can't ever go the way the arrow's pointing. It's always pointing the wrong way. And now it's pointing the right way. Cool. No. This is recycling cardboard only, but instead of re instead of cardboard, it's just got another bin in it.
I'm trying to climb on the vent, but I don't think I can. It's really hard to jump the uh, time to jump correctly. Yeah, the door was right there. I'm kind of screwed. What the fuck is happening? West, east, left. But I can't. Are you lucid dreaming? I wish. If I was lucid dreaming, I'd probably get out of here. Probably have some kind of control over what's happening. At the Mo, I do not. I'm kind of curious if something went wrong somehow. Like, what if it helps if I do follow the arrows in... What if I do follow the arrows? Nope, this one points immediately into a brick wall. So no. You can't just follow the arrows from step one. I thought that maybe doing it wrong for a while might have glitched the process out. Okay, now it's only ever right. Now it's left. Two east, see? What the fuck? Now it's two, implying that I've made progress. What do I do when the door is closed? Then if I go the wrong way, now it's one. What? It feels like I'm supposed to follow the, the, uh... It definitely feels like I'm supposed to follow the arrows, because whenever I follow the arrow correctly, it increases the number by one. But the arrow often points to the brick, ro brick wall. So I have questions. Come on. There has to be, like, a reason for it. Like, I want to go left. Okay, so it's getting consistent. Why is it so consistently wrong? So it wasn't consistently wrong before when I didn't know about the arrow. It specifically is a thing where as I started learning about the arrow, I started fucking up more somehow, whereas I was making progress before then. The knowledge is fucking me up. Oh shit. It's the direction you look in. The direction you look in first is bricked. So I had more luck before I learned the arrow was what I was supposed to be following because I was randomly picking directions. Whereas now, I will intentionally turn the correct direction, which is what fucks me. Son of a bitch. That's clever. Hey, there we go. Immediate gratification once I f realize what's wrong. What, is that... Is the wall rippling? Am I imagining that? Okay. Fun swimming pool time. Got a smiley on it now. What you doing with that smiley, huh? Oh, it's supposed to be in there. Road closed. 
You can't tell me what to do? Only I tell me what to do. Oopsie. Aha, you can't defeat me now, recycling bin. What? Ah. What the fuck? Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Uh, it seems to me like that's where I started, considering none of your trigger mechanisms seem to be helpful. Uh, the fuck do I do with- oh, hi. Don't turn away. Okay. Huh. 